Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Two types of connections that are readily available now. Now what is a uh, live connection? So basically live connection is uh, that you can connect to your system, uh, database system and fetch the data without importing it to the uh, SAC server which is that you are not copying the data rather you are just trying to query the data on the fly so let me switch on this pointer so data is stored exclusively in customers landscape so it is not copied anywhere to the SAC server it is rather staying at your on-premise or your uh, location physical location where the database is present and no data is stored in SAC as I said it is not copied so nothing is transferred to SAC and the security wise it is controlled by the on-premise system so imagine your database system has you know certain uh, securities like you know certain users need to have read access certain user needs to have you know um, right access or certain users need to have sales data access other users need to have uh, access to the marketing data so on so all those security restrictions and security uh, authentication mechanisms will still apply when you're using live connections which means that you don't need to create specifically security restrictions in SAC so by default the on-premise or data source security will be reused in live connections so here virtual models are used so as, as I mentioned, data is not stored in SAC. So we call it virtual models. So they are used to uh, refer to the SAP Analytics Cloud data. And also um, planning models do not contain data here because since it is virtual, there is no data copied. So how the schematic diagram looks is like, this is SAP Analytics Cloud. You establish the live connection to your remote system and then data is st storing in the uh, your remote system all of the data is here and whenever you query using the model in the dashboard only then the data is fetched for that time and once you close the dashboard the data is no more available in the SAC itself so this is about the live connection next we move to the um, so we'll also see some of the additional uh, features. So with live connections, you can create models from different data sources. So it supports both on-premise or cloud systems. And as I mentioned, uh, the analysis is performed without storing your data in the SAC. Also, this feature allows the SAC to be used in scenarios where data cannot be stored because imagine uh, if you are working with European clients or you know Middle East clients, they don't uh, want their data to be moved to some location, remote location, or they don't want their data to be um, stored in other locations. They are very much specific about data restrictions. Even GDPR uh, rules and regulations, they don't allow data to be copied. So in such scenarios, the live connection is best preferred because you don't need to copy the data, you just query the data at the right time. So that is the reason when uh, you have such scenarios, then uh, when data cannot be transported, uh, transported or stored, uh, copied into the SAC for security or privacy reasons. So in that scenarios, you can go for live connections. So in creating live connections, there are two mechanisms mm -hmm. basically. Uh, can you just uh, go through that uh, live connection part again? Why, why we need to go for live connection? Yeah, live connection is basically when you don't want to replicate data in your uh, cloud server, SAC server for security or privacy reasons because so there are certain customers who doesn't want their data to be copied in other system. They don't want data to be leaving from their landscape. So for security purposes, most of the time, it's always good to have uh, live connections. Okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there are two ways to create live connection. One is a direct connection, other one is tunnel connection. So majorly, uh, Usually customers use li uh, direct connection. So what is direct connection is you have your on-premise system or cloud system outside the landscape, which is in the customer location. We create connection using this course mechanism. Uh, there is a cross origin resource sharing mechanism, which is SAP's uh, specific mechanism to connect to systems. So we use that, which is done in the firewall itself. And once you kind of create the connection, 
uh, the system SAC system can connect to your remote database or you know data source and then we can fetch the data and uh, based on that we can also create the visualizations so this is the direct connection where <clears throat> the data is directly flown from the remote system to the SAC directly at the time of runtime now when it comes to import connections um, <coughs> data is actual data is replicated so contrary to the live connection here we did copy the data from the customer system into SAC server into the SAC's HANA database so the data is duplicated literally and then security also is to be defined so when you copy the data within SAC it means that all the data is stored in SAC any tables you know views etc is stored in SAC and for that reason you need to again create the security restrictions like you imagine you created a table sales table and you have allowed five people to have read access to the table you need to create the same kind of scenario same kind of security restriction again in the import scenarios so here um, unlike virtual models here the data is stored so mainly we use planning scenarios so planning doesn't support live connection as of now so it is only planning is done through import connections so we need to go for planning scenario then we need to use import connections and also in some scenarios where customers are uh, not not satisfied about the performance so suppose your dashboard is uh, created on live connection and sometimes it might take um, 5 to uh, 10 seconds or maybe one minute which is kind of a lot for SAC to kind of show data so in such scenarios live connection might not be feasible then customers might go to import connections why because so in case of live connection the system data is stored in remote location imagine it, a company in uh, China has bought SAC and uh, SAC is majorly hosted in a European data center because SAP is an European company so during due to that um, the physical connection between SAP data center and China location is far if you compare if you compare physically Europe is far from China compared to Europe within Europe or within uh, uh, if you want to connect data within uh, uh, North America compared to that the distance physical distance between Europe and China is far so that's the reason sometimes live connection the data has to physically kind of go through the internet and then the system the customer will be able to see it so in such scenarios the performance might be poor so in in such scenarios specifically when performance is an issue customers what they will do is they'll try to copy the data within SAC itself within SAP's data center itself so that the performance is faster which means it might be in few seconds so that is one scenario where you will use but, import um, connections in that case if planning is being done where the data is being pulled into SAC servers but then yeah. once you do the planning the data again needs to send I mean send yes. back to the uh, yes 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 that's so what is it, um, isn't that being consuming I mean process plus uh, uh, I mean, uh, you need to also get a good amount of uh, data available on SSC to handle the situation. Yes. So I mean, whatever it, performance performance issue which I said, it's majorly with respect to the BI data. You know, when uh, customer try to read a lot of data and, uh, you know, try to kind of create visualizations, but most of the time planning is done on tables because you need to kind of change the values and save the data back to the provider so that in the such scenarios specifically planning they only do import connections and once the import connection data is saved they can also write back the data to the provider say pw info providers also so as okay. of now planning supports only import connection um, they don't have live connection as such is that what you are asking Um, yeah, I mean, normally asking, I mean, uh, like in uh, legacy webby, which I remember, we used to have uh, cases wherein uh, the best query were directly used as a source to the webby reports, and uh, uh, we used to do visualization on the webby reports. Yeah. Now yeah. you are telling that uh, for uh, for this one, we cannot have uh, live. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, live data. Oh, live we data can, we can have live. We can have live connection huh. for BW Big Query still. It's your option. Correct, basically. Correct. Now my I didn't come to I didn't come to my question now. Now okay. uh, normally when when I'm talking about Big Query, 
So now the Bex query support uh, your planning this thing, right? You can create planning functions and all those things, and you can create a Bex query which which is a planning enabled thing. Mm. So now uh, in that case, if if I use a Bex query which is a planning enabled, uh, will that work? No. Yes, right? it will work only for it read read scenarios. It won't. You can't plan. So by that default, it will be yeah locked. As in, uh, you cannot change the data. <clears throat> So here uh, you have to import if you want the right access to be enabled if you want the right operation to be enabled it needs to def by default go through import import connection which which also supports Bex queries so by default you have to create a uh, import connection to that corresponding VW system and import the data from the info provider and then you will have uh, right access enabled mm -hmm. okay Yeah, so so in scenarios where you need planning, you have to go for import connections and uh, the other case is when you have bad performance due to physical location of the servers and then uh, in such scenarios, you can also go for import connections. But you have to remember that data is duplicated and also security uh, authorizations, etc. has to be recreated in SAC. So as I mentioned, data is imported here to SAC and changes made to the data data to the source system does not affect imported data so this is also one more thing you need to remember once something some data is changed in your source system you need to recopy it or you need to schedule a job to kind of copy it again to SAC to see the new changes whereas in case of live connection since it is real time and it is on the fly so whatever when data is changed in the source system automatically it's changed in SAC also when you execute the dashboard so for import connections we need some setup required for uh, uh, for live connections we don't need any setup as such specifically you just need the host name and the port name of the uh, database system or you know data warehouse system or the remote data source you just have those and, and the credentials maybe admin credentials of the data source then you can connect to the live data whereas in uh, import connections we need some specific setup like you need to install this SAP BTP connect cloud connectivity connector and also um, SAP analytics cloud agent these are the two components so these two has to be installed in case of using import connections so this is mainly uh, to create this uh, connection to this import uh, import scenarios when you are using on-premise data so we need to bring the data from on-premise system like SAP business warehouse or BPC or you know business objects uh, intelligence platform ERP SQL database so on like SQL success factors so on if you want to have this uh, import connection set up then you need to have this uh, cloud connector and also cloud agent to be installed so basically admin or basis team will anyway do this usually so for import connections how it works is uh, we have this SAP analytics cloud which is a cloud system um, and you kind of configure the cloud connector and also cloud agent and then uh, based on that the on-premise data will be fetched so if you see here, these are some of the data sources, the screenshot of uh, import connection. So you have these data sources supported, BPC, Business by Design, BW, Cloud for Customer, Cloud for Customer Analytics, Conquer, ERP. You know, almost all SAP products are supported. Then there is Dojones system. And yeah, some categories to filter. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.